I'm Martin, I'm the founder and CEO of Tyke, and I want to tell you about our latest release. You could, of course, read the release notes, but that would be so boring. And of course, you'd miss out on all of this, uh, face. Release 4 has four killer features that you should know about. First off, if you're in a large enterprise and you're thinking of adopting GraphQL, since release 3, Tyke has had this rather awesome feature we call the Universal Data Graph. And that rather awesome feature enables you to adopt GraphQL without writing a single line of code or changing any of your backend REST services. Nada, zip, you just plug them into Tyke and shazam, we give you a GraphQL API. Now, UDG is great to dip your toe in and it'll take you far. But what if you've taken the plunge? You're ready to go full on GraphQL across your stack. Well, that's where Federation comes in. GraphQL Federation is the tried and tested, battle-hardened, big boy pants, enterprise way to have GraphQL perform in a large microservices oriented team. Well, Tyke has full support for federated GraphQL now, which means Tyke is the only platform that can truly support you on your GraphQL journey from newbie to expert. Of course, I haven't really spoken about the event-driven real-time elephant in the room. GraphQL has this awesome feature called subscriptions, which enable you to provide event-driven APIs as part of your GraphQL schema. And now with release four, Tyke also has full subscription support. What does that mean for you? It means that you can take your APIs to the next level by supporting real-time async and request response APIs. And we're not stopping there. In future releases, you can expect support for Kafka and other real-time data sources to be pluggable backends for our universal data graph. How cool is that? Here's the kicker though, and this is the bit that really gets me excited. You see, for a long time, the GraphQL industry leaders have struggled to bring federated support for GraphQL subscriptions to market. What I mean by that is subscriptions don't work in federated GraphQL stacks. They have always been a class apart. What good is this awesome subscription-based real-time GraphQL API when you can't put it in an enterprise stack that uses federation? Well, we have an answer to that question, Tyke. We don't like to do things by halves. So as of this release, Tyke is the only platform that fully supports federated GraphQL subscriptions. Let me say that again. Tyke is the only API management platform in the world that can manage full-blown, real-time, federated, enterprise-grade GraphQL APIs at scale in the world. And if that doesn't make you excited, are you even human? That's a lot of talk about GraphQL, so let's take a step back. Tyke is an open-source, enterprise-grade API management platform used by Fortune 500 firms and startups alike. One thing many of our customers have in common, and I'll take a guess that you probably feel the same way, is a common dislike for MongoDB. Tyke has been using MongoDB since we started the company. It's a great product, and it really shines in large-scale production environments. But it's still a pain. As of release 4, Tyke fully supports SQL as a database backend, meaning you can run Tyke with SQL Lite on your local machine, or scale up into production with Postgres and all of its battle-hardened scaling features. This means three things for you. Lower deployment costs, faster and easier setup, and it's very likely you don't need to learn yet another new thing to be productive with Tyke. With this release, we're one step closer to our vision of connecting every system in the world. I've spoken about this before, APIs are eating software and software is eating the world. As we've been improving our full lifecycle API management capabilities, we've also been investing very heavily in new technologies, chief amongst them being GraphQL. Why? Because we firmly believe that the future is a graph and we dream of that software future that you see so often on TV, where you can ask the computer anything and it can traverse the various databases of the world to not only find but link the data you need in order to answer your question. We want a future where a developer doesn't need to read through reams of documentation, endpoints and schemas in order to eventually build their application. APIs should be self-documenting, discoverable and structured. It's the 21st century, the stuff should be easy. An analyst should be able to query the data across their entire company and partner ecosystem with a clean, standardized interface, not a hodgepodge of databases, query languages and command line apps. We started this journey with our universal data graph, which offers a clear path to taking any data source and exposing it as a GraphQL API, to take any systems graph and link it to any other systems graph, that's why it's universal. We're building an API management platform that empowers the developer to be more productive, the analyst to ask intelligent questions, and the architect to design clean interfaces. We want your API management platform to not only help organize and secure your tech stack, but to offer a single pane of glass through which you see your company. A magic mirror that can answer any question you ask. And that's what makes us different. 
We are here to help you get things done and then help you make things better. We're the only platform that delivers the key features you need right now and the features that will guide you into a productive future.